no, no, I can't be touched. Um, Cause see, when I first moved to New York, I didn't know a soul, you know? And Marty, he was a lot of fun. And well, his family had a lot of money. I mean, a lot, a lot of money. So he didn't have to work if he didn't want to, but he liked to, which I liked. And he was a lot of fun. So um, we got married. <laughs> And we bought this big apartment on East 71st Street. It was much too big for just the two of us. It was the penthouse and we had a terrace and windows on three sides and I was pregnant. Um, well, we talked about it and I was late. So anyway, I might have been, but we'd only lived there two months. And one day I was standing looking out the window and I didn't have any clothes on and Marty came over to me and he said, come out onto the terrace. And I said, I don't have any clothes on. So um, he went and got me this little robe and uh, we went out onto the terrace and he kissed me and we leaned, I don't know, well like, he leaned. And I sort of put my back up against the railing and we were just gone. So I reached behind him to see if I could grab on to anything, but there wasn't anything there. It was just blue. And it's true what they tell you. You see everything flash before your eyes. And I remember thinking very clearly, this is real. This is bad. And Marty was screaming and climbing up my body. And we turned over once and went through an awning, which is what saved my life. I broke every bone in my face. I shattered all my teeth. These are all caps. I was in traction for nine months. It was just a loose railing. So I landed on him. I killed him. So I can never be held.